what I'm about to share with you. It is just try to impart to you what was imparted to us. This is our key verse. About tunaona hapa these guys walipo vita alipoambiwa mwanzoni ilikuwa ni ngumu. Lakini when they did what Christ had told them to do they caught a great number of fish and their nets began to tear or to sink Simon alipoambiwa weka nyavu alimwangalia Yesu na jicho ingine. maana he, Peter was a professional fisherman And kulingana na masomo yale alikuwa amesoma katika shule ya fisheries na nini walikuwa wamefundishwa ya kwamba samaki hawavuliwi mchana samaki wanavuliwa usi usi Then Jesus tells him peleka ne, neti yako pale in the deep water kabisa kabisa hiyo ni kuharibu masomo ya mtu do you know kabisa kabisa when Christ starts working on us anaharibu masomo yetu Narudia tena when Christ starts working in us anaharibu the facts that we know The fact is Joshua alikuwa mgojwa The truth is Joshua is healed Facts are there. Facts are there. You have been suffering. The truth of the word of God is that I have come here as a servant of God. As you receive the truth that I speak to you, your facts zitakosa umuhimu, you get the truth of the word of God and your life will never be the same again. Before I continue, there are three words ambao pastor faith amesema akienda kuket connect can we say connect no contact connect and correct these are words the bishop's wife has been talking about na hapa kanisani ni maneno ambao tutayatilia manani sana why because if your pastor is your pastor and you don't have his number sema hiyo ni misnoma hiyo haingi because you need to know your pastor's number si unaona hakuna amen because kuna watu wanaweza kuwa hapa miaka nenda rudi hata hajui the pastor's number Hajui Pastor Faith number. Ni vizuri sana kujua namba ya mchungaji wako. Ni vizuri kujua ya kwamba huyu mtumishi wa Mungu if I connect with him I will correct all that I deserve. Can we say contact? Connect. Correct. When you have come here you have made a contact you have come to the sanctuary you have come to hear what god has for you and right now god is about to speak to you so you are contacting your pastor you can call him you can hear what he is saying now then connect with him then correct what you need hizo vitu tatu sisi double three yeah three sisi zikiingia kila mkristo mambo mengi yamekutesa dada yangu ndugu yangu yanafika kikomo leo sema big amen yanafika kikomo leo if you don't have a prophet if you don't have a priest ole wako because you are prophet your priest is your prophet 
Mgaukia jirani yako mwambie you are priest. You are prophet. Is you are prophet. Kuwa na mchungaji katika maisha yako ni faida kwako. Ku contact na connect na a man of God ni faida kwako. The other I'm the pioneer of Deliverance Church. Dr. Joe Kayo and we we'll, tunamrifa sana tunampenda sana. Ukimuona na wende umusalimie na umpatie bahasha hata kama ni ya milioni moja. He can't tell you thank you. Kabisa and you may think he has ignored you. Anasema wewe umejua siri ya kumcontact. Wewe umejua siri ya kuconnect na yeye. You have corrected. Hallelujah. Chochote umekuwa ukitamani. I have seen him. Unampatia ukifikiria he will be very excited. Anachukua tu na anaweka kwa mfuko na anaenda kunywa chai yake. Yaani it's as if you have done nothing. Anajua wewe because umeelewa, ume contact, ume connect, then you have taken all that you needed. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, <laughs> nisipotee sana because today I'm going to toko toko. Sema toko toko. Talk, talk, talk. I'm going to talk more than preaching. I want to talk to you because I want that contact. I want that connection between you and your prophet. Yesu ameona mashua. Watu wanamfuata. Watu wanamfuata tu. Yeye katikati ya ile yote kuna mtu mmoja tu target yake ndiye yeye. Tunaweza kufikiria target yake ilikuwa ni kuhubiria wale watu wote. That was not his main mission. Tunaona anamwambia we, naomba hii mashua yako. Number one, Peter alipeana mashua yake na moyo wake wote. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama Yesu amekuomba unatoa kwa moyo wako wote. Haleluya. Unatoa kwa moyo wako yote. Peter akapeana na akakaa kando. Yesu akamanya huduma. Then he turns to Peter again. Ni asanti kwa kunipa mashua. Na mina kuomba sasa. Chukua hiyo neti ulikuwa unaosha. The whole of the night you caught nothing. Sasa nataka uweke pare ndani. Pare kuna majimegi. Haikuonekana ina sense hata kidogo. Lakini ameambiwa. Akati. Sema akati. Akasema ni vile tu ni wewe Yesu umesema. Lakini kwangu mimi singeweka. The whole night they had got nothing. But now because the Messiah, the one he needed to connect with, ame connect na yeye. The one he was supposed to contact, ame contact na yeye. Things were never the same again. Walipoweka zile neti zao. Akapata samaki wengi wakubwa. Sema wakubwa. Haisemi waliokota chula. Haisemi waliokoka omena. Waliokota samaki kubwa. Our key theme of the year. Tunasema. It is our year of great catch. Sema my year of great catch. Listen to me brother my sister. Nataka ni kuwabie. Kama vile pastor vidi ya mesema akiketi. Our time of small things is over. Narudia tena, your time of small thinking is over. Mwabia jirani yako mungu wangu ni mkubwa. I want to tell you, I want to encourage each one of us. The God whom we preach, the God whom I serve, is not a small God. Ni mungu wa mabo makubwa. Wangapu wangependa huyo mungu wa mabo makubwa? Huyo ni mungu unajiriwa. In the lowest level. Mwaka huu. Unaweza kuruka level tatu. Watu waanze kusema ni kamote. Watu waanze kusema. Kwani huyu mutu anajulikana na nani. Sio kwa zababu anajulikana na nani. Umejulikana. Yesu hame kondorea macho. Hame kuambia. Venture. Ingia pare. Kwenye majimengi. 
Sijui ni wangapi watapenda kuingia kwenye maji mengi. Yaani utasema sita choka but I'm going to do something great. Praise the name of the Lord. So, Bishop wakasema hivi. If the bishop is not struggling, I shall not struggle. Na tukaonyesha wa mabishop wetu the way God has really lifted them up. Tukaona kabisa no one of them is struggling. Right now, mungu anekwa nema ya mungu. Mungu amewabariki, wamenunua manyumba hapa. When they come for apostolic council, wengi wao wanakaa nyumba zao. Huyo die mungu na mpenda. Na kama ameinua mabishop wetu, hata mi nainuliwa. Sema hata mimi. Sema hata mimi. Praise the name of the Lord. Yani unasema, vile ame mtendea my bishop. Huyo mungu wa bishop Mark. Huyo bishop wa JB. Huyo, eh, huyo mungu wa wagichana na, na bishop kemani. That is my God. Sahi hauta omba mungu wa Musa. Mungu wa Ibrahim. Ah, mungu wa nabi wako. Hallelujah. Wakati wa Musa ulipita. Wakati wa Aaron ulipita. Sasa ni wakati wa mtumishi wa Mungu aliye hapa anakupatia neno la uhai. Sema I will not struggle this year. This is my year of great catch. Kama unakubali hiyo year of great catch pigia Yesu makofi. Eh hey. Unakubali ya kwa, but this is your year of great catch. Your life and things will never be the same again. Semba my life will never. Ah ah, semba with affirmation. My life will never be the same again. Deliverance church. Hapa hapa irishadai. We are not the way we are supposed to be. We are not small. Sema, we are not small. Let me tell you. Right now, tunaweza kuonekana hii number. But let me tell you, Bishop ametuambia ma, mawazo hayo mandogo ya ondoki. Because hapa tutapata kanisa kubwa. Hapa tu, watu anaja kule, ibada ya kwanza inaja, ibada ya pili inaja, ibada ya tatu inaja. I wish nige shikia biga, amen. amen. That is the great catch. Souls must come to the Lord. Ah. Nasema souls must come to the Lord. Na nilazima wakuje in bulk. Unajua in bulk ni kuwanisha kwa wingi. Wanakuja kwa wingi. Na si watu wa kawaida tu. Watu ambao, even people with resources. People of substance. Watu wa mesoma. Watu wa nijua computer. My engineers. Watahingia kanisani. Praise the name of the Lord. Because of that, I'm thinking big. I'm challenging you, my brother, my sister. Think big. Mahali hapo ofisini, hauja korogewa. Shika kichwa yako mwabia mungu, oh God. Change my thinking. I must think big. I must think great. From today, help my thinking. Pigia Yesu Makofi. Kuna jama moja katika Biblia Ali flow with the same anointing Anaitua Eraisha Eraisha Hata hakuna kitu aliambiwa na Elija Ni kama tu vile naweza kuwa Nikipita hapa Nikipita tu hivi Niguze Joshua tu Kumuguza tu Hipo tu Sinja muambia asimame Lakini ya mesima Kutoka hapo akaelewa hiyo mkono si wakawa si wakawaida akamuomba sasa the man of god Elijah na kuomba nipe ruhusa niende nikamalize yo zangu zote ni wachinjie wa kule because ninakufuata praise the name of the lord keti Elisha Elijah akamwambia sikani nimekwambia nini aa na kuomba tu ngoje kidogo Hapo ndiyo naonanga mungu ni wajabu. Ameruhusu akaenda. The Bible says. Akaenda. Akachoma zile yoku yote. Zile dumezote zika chinjwa. Zilipo alipo choma. Hakuna mahali bibida inasema eraisha alikura. Aliacha watu wakisalebrate. Akafuata mutumishu wa mungu. Nifuata njoshua. 
akafuata mtumishi wa Mungu sema the anointing of following can you say the anointing of following akamfuata sasa wamekaa miaka nenda rudi wakati wa huyu Eraija imefika anataka kwenda mbinguni huyu akaambiwa na Eraija unajua tuelewane umenifuata sana mimi naenda so tuachane akakangana kule ni Bether walianza na Bether akamwambia na kuomba ubaki hapa mimi nae na yule akamwambia as far as you are living na mimi sikuachi tunaenda pamoja wakaenda wakaenda wakafika Jericho i'm just trying to paraphrase the story wewe nimekwambia ninaenda baki hapa Jericho Jericho ilikuwa ni mahali wana wa Israeli all the men wale walikuwa wamezaliwa jangwani walitahiriwa pale na Joshua ameambiwa baki pale akamwambia as far as is concerned mimi na wewe sikuachi wacha hivyo kuna masauti inatoka upande na upande ya the sons of the prophet wanamwambia Elisha <laughs> kando wanamwambia <laughs> unafuata huyu mzee na anaenda are you understanding unafuata mtu anaye anaenda so what are you doing akasema i know lakini ngoja nimfuate akakataa kubakisha Jericho wakavika katika Jordan anataka mwache akamwambia sasa nataka tuachanie hapa akamwambia sikuachi akamuuliza kwani unataka nini sema the anointing of following hapa ndio wa pentecost wengi wana miss baraka because wanafuata kidogo arafu anakosea jia yule jamaa akamwambia naomba tu double anointing ile ulio nayo nipate mara mbili praise the name of the lord akamwambia he umeomba ombi nzito lakini ukiniona condition if you see me being taken up kile umetamani imepatikana sema the anointing the anointing of following wakafika kwa mto Jordan yule akainua joho yake akagonga mto ukakauka wakafuka na kutoka pale sasa imagine umeambiwa na mtu if you see me go then whatever you have desired you will get it now niambie that was the greatest homework ya Elisha maana huyu mtu hujui kama ataondokea hivi hujui atapitia jia gani lakini condition unione nikienda sasa na, anaenda haraka anaenda haraka lakini huyu macho yake iko kwa huyu munabii wa Mungu because the condition unione nikia nikienda ni kweli the bible says akamuona ndiye huyo chariots of fire zikaja and it separated them na akaona ndiye huyo akalia baba baba umeniacha akaangusha ile manto ikaangukia Elisha he got the anointing wale walikuwa wamedhi haki wakiwa upande ule wa Jordan wakasema goja tumuone sasa atavuka namna gani alipofika ile mto Jordan akainua ile manto akagonga ile muti ha, muto jia ikatokea alipofika upande ule mwingine wale walikuwa wanamchekelea wale walikuwa wameona kama amepotesa mbao they came they referenced him wakasema kweli roho wa bwana ako juu ya huyu mtu kweli roho wa bwana ako juu ya mtu huyu listen to me church there is an anointing of following tumpigie Joshua Makofi there is an anointing of following and listening what you are being told umeabiwaje kuna jamaa moja alijaribu kufuata Elisha sasa huyu jamaa anaitwa Gehazi yeye hakuwa ana follow to the to the data amewaambiwa namani amefika pale ameponywa ukoma yake Elisha amesema to hero with your money go with it sisi hatuko hapa tatufanyi biashara ya uponyaji Gehazi akaangalia hey na ni Januari eh mwezi wa pili na vile kumekauka mzee anaachilia mali yote yende na tuko hapa na kuna tunataka pesa akajificha nyumba ya nyumba si ndio vijana wanafanyanga anajificha akafuata naman naman kuona anafuatwa hii 
akarudi akapiga mali nini nimekosea akamwambia unajua mzee amekumbuka e, kuna vitu ungeacha kuna vitu ungeacha kwa hivyo amenituma mnipatie joho mbili na mnipatie mifuko mbili ya pesa i'm trying to paraphrase it akapewa na akaenda akaficha alafu akatokea to the man of god <laughs> ulikuwa uli, uli wapi like the youth of today unauliza mtu ulikuwa wapi nilikuwa tu around hapa nilikuwa tu hapa pastor huku uje nisi hakuna bali nimeenda i was just in the church na ni uongo mtupu ameenda town amekula rolling chicken na amerudi pastor i'm still fasting <laughs> nilikuwa tu around <laughs> bwana siweza nilikuwa i was just around eraisha akamwambia this always wakati wa hizo vitu na kwa sababu hiyo ukoma wa naman ukuangukie mtu ambaye angepokea anointing do you know ile anointing gehazi angepata eraisha alikufa nayo hata akiwa kaburini mifupa yake bado ilikuwa anointing an anointing jamaa anakuja kutupwa hapo amekufa kuguza mifupa ya jamaa alikufa ana, anaitwa eraisha jamaa anainuka Watu wameenda kumuzika, alafu wanainuka anawafuata wanatoroka. Ame, amepona na muna gani? Na si tumetupa mtu amekufa, ameguza mifupa listen to me. Servants of God hata ukimwona amezeeka na muna gani? Bado hako na anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. Na usidharau mtumishi wa Mungu. Bwana asiwe sana. Anaweza asiruke sana. Kama vile nimeona akinapita hapo akiruka na Kenneth na Keith. Eh hata teremuka teremuka sisi watu wengine hapa nilikuwa na waangalia kina Mr. Mungu na wale wengine nikasema wewe pita ruka ruka lakini usituangalie sana tunaweza kuruka hapa mifuko anza kulia kwa 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 kitoka hapa tunapeleka kwa kakani Bwana Jesus so tunaenda na kipi na kipimo na kipimo lakini kile tumebeba ni anointing kubwa sana semeni amen <coughs> so nataka kusema ya kwamba wapendwa this is our time to grow As a church, this is our time to grow bigger and bigger. I am seeing a church. Ya kwamba zile viti tukonazo ni chache. Tutaongeza zingine. Semeni, amen. So, Elishadai is bigger than, than what we, we think. Uh, wewe mwenyewe, you are not what people call you. You are what God is calling you. What God says you are. Semeni, amen. Listen to me brethren our time to be known has come Sema my time to be recognized here in Mombasa has come My time to be known has come Can you say it bigger Sema my time to be known My time to be recognized has come Musalimie jirani yako kwa roho safi umwambie ndugu yangu niangalie My time to be lifted has come My time to be greater has come Sema amen. We must see in the spiritual realm. Tuone katika macho ya kiroho. Tuone kule Mungu anatupeleka. Hallelujah. Peter alikuwa haoni samaki. Alikuwa anaona kuchoka. Lakini alipotii sauti ya Bwana mambo ikabadilika. Tuweke 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. Please very quickly because of our time. The Bible says Tusome pamoja eh First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 Tusome pamoja Tusome kwa sauti moja to start God is faithful Rudi atia tu hapo Rudi atena God is faithful to again God is faithful By him you were called into fellowship with his son Jesus Christ our Lord the Lord that I'm preaching to you today brothers and sisters is a faithful God the Lord that I'm preaching to you God is faithful God is interested in your faith Mungu anapendezwa sana na imani yako how far do you trust him because he is trustworthy yeye ni mwaminifu ni wa kuaminika. God is reliable. Ay ay ay. Yaani you can rely on him. What he says, he will do. Semeni amen. 
Our God is faithful. Our God is reliable. Our God is trustworthy. Kiri amesema ni chako. If he says this is your year of great catch, he is reliable, he is faithful, he is trustworthy. Pigia Yesu makofi. Those words are very important to your life, my sister, my brother. So the anointing of mega church is here. Sema the anointing of a mega church is here. Sema the anointing of a mega business is here. Hallelujah. I don't know how you see yourself, but I see greatness in you. Sitaki kuona uduni wako, nataka kuona greatness in you. Haire utakuwa haija kuwa revealed. Some of you will become very important people here in Mombasa. Amen. Hata sasa hii maybe hata huja declare kama utakuwa MCA na unawezekana uwe ni MCA wa idea hii. Amen. Because it's our year of great catch. Simuseme amen. amen. Listen to me brothers. Any yoke ambayo imekuwa ikikulalia we are breaking it from today. Any yoke ambayo imekuwa ikikufukuruta ikikufuruta ikurudisha nyuma I am breaking that yoke. And you are all going to walk in the freedom of the Lord. Why? Because my God is reliable. My God is trustworthy. And my God is faithful. Mungu wabaya ni mwaminifu. Kiri ya mesema, kiri na kwabia leo. Ishike dugu yangu. Ishike dada yangu. Kibia with it. You will bring a testimony here. Pigia yesu makofi kama nina kusaidia. I want, I'm here to declare prophetically. God has heard your cry. Mungu amejua kilio chako ndugu yangu. Mungu amesikia kilio chako dada yangu. Peter walikuwa melia hata chura hata hata ile inaitwa samaki tule tukamongo hatujapata the whole day uchovu dio huu. God changed their situation. God is going to change somebody's situation from today. Sema I am one of them. Hallelujah. God is going to change something in your life. I want you to know ya kwamba huyu Mungu anakupenda sana. God has heard your cry, no more bondage. Hautakaa kwenye kifungo tena. Unawekwa huru leo. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Sema the game has changed. Sema mpira umegeuka nuo. The game has changed. Yaani kama wale walikuwa nakufukusa, wewe ndio unawafukusa leo. Wale walikuwa na kudhihaki na kukuchekelea they will come and worship you. Hallelujah. Mateso umepitia ni mengi sana. Very good story in the Bible. Ninapo summarize now. Ni mtu anaitwa Job. Job alikuwa ni mwaminifu sana. Shetani anaenda anaomba ruhusa. Job anateseka anapoteza kila kitu. But Job was faithful. Hakutenda uofu mbele za Bwana. Hata alipopoteza kila kitu. God remained faithful. Na Mungu akamkumbuka in Job 42 Mungu akamlegeshea Job chochote kilichokuwa kimeibiwa. Chochote kilikuwa kimepotea. Listen to me. Weka Job, weka Job 42. Weka Job 42. Job 42. Are we there? Mumunaka, mumunaka sana. Aya, tusome pamoja. Then Job replied to the Lord. No. Job 42 verse. No, no there is a verse I wanted to get very quickly. He combined it. Mahali alilipo akila kitu. Verse. Verse 18. Yeah, wake up. Verse 18, sorry. Verse 18. Job 42, verse 18. Job 42, verse 18. Eh, mama. Verse 14, sorry. 14, 14, 14. Okay. 
Ah, hii ni uh, the daughters eh? He named his first daughter Jamima, his second Kezia and his third Karen. Hapuch. Endelea. Nimeishia hapo. No women as beautiful as Job's daughters could be found in all the land. Their father granted them an inheritance with their brothers. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati huu Job ana miaka ni verse 10, yeah, verse 10. Can we go to verse 10? Yes, after Job, can we to some pamoja to start? After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his prosperity and doubled his previous possession. Tuendele? To start here, verse 11, all his brothers, sisters, and former acquaintances came to his house and dined with him in his house. They offered him sympathy and comfort concerning all the adversity the Lord had brought on him. Each one gave him a quista and a gold earring. Uh -huh. So the Lord blessed the latter part to So the Lord blessed the latter part of Job's life more than the earlier. He owned 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. Waleo tungekua tunaongea habari ya Lilo Estate. Waleo tungekua tunaongea habari ya Perari. Ile ngali naitu wa Perari. Tungekua tunaongea ile V8 ya likuwa nazo. Wana suwe sana. He became so rich. He also had seven sons and three daughters. So tunaona ya kwaba hui jamaa alirudi mahali alipokuwa. Listen to me brethren. Today, the first Sunday of the month of February, your life will be restored. Ah, uh, you are many enu ni kama ina maswali mengi. Nasema your life will be restored. Your fortunes will be restored. Your businesses will be restored. Your families will be restored. In fact, the better of your, the part of your life will be now start being revealed. Hauja korogewa mahali uko, hauja korogewa mahali umekua. But I promise you that this is our ear of the great catch. You will have a story to tell. Si mama ufungue mdomo wako, anza kumushukuru mungu, kwa sababu the ear of great catch has caught you already. And I kumushukuru bwana, don't wait for anybody else. Anza kumushukuru mungu, ya kwamba something great is happening in your life from today. Your life will never be the same again. Something great is going to happen in your life from today. Fungua kinywa chakos. Don't whisper. Fungua mudomo. The Bible says open your mouth wine. And I will feel it. Fungua mudomo wako kabisa. Mwambie buwana. Najua buwana unanirestore. He restored the life of Peter. He restored the life of Job. He will restore. He will bring the fortunes upon your life. All that you had lost, you are going to regain it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The game has changed. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, my brothers, you carry a great God. You carry a great authority. You have to speak to your situations and things are going to happen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here, there is an anointing of prosperity. There is an anointing of going ahead upon your life. Hallelujah. Rejection is broken. Somebody rejection is broken. Maybe you have been working with the people who have rejected you. You could be working in an office where you have been in rejection. I have to tell you rejection is broken in Jesus name. Hallelujah. I want to assure you there is an anointing of millionaires from today. There is an anointing of you becoming a millionaire from today. Hallelujah. Sema, oh Lord. Oh Lord, help me to get out of my old mentality. And from today, may my mentality change. To understand and to know what you have planned for my life. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu my mentality has changed, my life has changed, I'm going to walk in the newness of life. For Jehovah, you are with me. For Jehovah, you are giving me victory. In the name of Jesus.